Hello internet world, welcome to my review of the QNAP TS233. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I just want to share with you my opinion and experience of using this over the past couple of weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the QNAP TS233. It's a two bay home NAS. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage and it features a two gigahertz 64 bit quad core processor. It's also got NPU AI acceleration. This is the product box. We take a look on the side here. It says efficient private cloud at the bottom, high performance quad core CPU, comprehensive multifunctional file server and home entertainment station and it gives you file access, backup, and flexible management for any remote working situation. So that's really uh, some great features there. On the back here, we've got the main specifications and the package contents listed, and also the fact that you can use this with either hard drives or solid state drives. So let's take a look at the box contents. First of all, we get some paperwork. This paperwork includes a quick installation guide, also information about an extended warranty offer, and also the limited standard warranty that's included with the product as well. We also get a couple of little bags of screws. These are for uh, mounting your hard drives or solid state drives inside the unit. And we also get an ethernet cable. This is used for connecting the NAS to your network. Then we get some power uh, accessories. So we get a power adapter. This is a multi-voltage power adapter. You can see on the back here it's uh, 100 volts to 240 volts. It's got a barrel type connector on this end which goes into the NAS and then this end here is where you put your power cable. Now depending upon which country you purchase this in you'll get a country specific power cable this one is a three pin UK plug. And then we've got an IEC connector on this end. Then we move across to having a look at the QNAP TS233 itself. And it's a, a really nice compact unit, as you can see. Very, very compact, lovely, clean white color on this. I really do like the design. If we look on the underside, uh, we've got a securing screw just here. We've got a nice little base to it with some rubberized feet so it's going to make it nice and sturdy on your desk. The top of you, the unit's got this sort of pattern in it and then we've got the sides which have got QNAP branding on the sides and then if we take a look around on the back we've got a single fan on the back for keeping all of the internal components cool. You can hear this but it's not obtrusive it's a fairly quiet fan. Then we've got a little reset button in here We've got the ethernet socket, it's a gigabit ethernet socket, and you use this to connect this unit to your network. We've got a couple of USB uh, ports here, so you could connect external storage up to this, or perhaps even a, a printer if it's supported. And then we've also got the power supply input just here. And if we look around on the front, we've got a couple of buttons. So we've got a power button and a copy button. We've also got another USB socket. I'll explain what that does in a short while. Then we've got some activity lights for hard drive activity and also network activity. It's a really nice little panel along this front section here. Very, very nice design. Now, what you'd use this for is it comes uh, without any hard drives installed. I think you can also buy configurations with hard drives inside as well, but as an empty shell, you can add your own three and a half inch hard drive or a solid state drive, and you add them in pairs. So ideally you'd add two hard drives to this. That's why it's called a two bay NAS. And then you connect this to your uh, network via ethernet, and then all of the content on the hard drives is then available across your network. And you can of course back up to the hard drives as well. And the fact that you've got two bays means that you have some data redundancy in here as well. So if set up correctly, you could have all of your data on one hard drive and then that would sort of be mirrored to the second hard drive. So if one hard drive fails, then you've still got a backup of all of your data. But it does so much more than that. You can actually install apps on this 
the QNAP operating system is really very, very good indeed. And the apps allow you to do things like remote access, use this as a file server, use it for photo backup. You can even back up your mobile devices to this and that negates the, you, uh, the need for using a, a cloud service, for example. So it's got some really nice features built in. I mentioned this USB port on the front. You can actually put a USB flash drive in here with files on and then copy them across with the push of a button to the internal storage. It really is a very, very flexible system and it's got great performance thanks to that uh, quad core processor inside. If you want some central storage that's accessible across your desktop computers, your laptop computers, your tablets, with the added functionality of being able to install a whole host of different applications on here, then the QNAP TS233 is well worth checking out. It's a really neat little box of tricks and very, very useful indeed. So that's it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. If you wanna purchase one of these for yourself, check out the links in the video description, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.